we'd have to run through the gamut of orthopedic tests to know if it's your facet joint, if it's your sacroiliac joint. What are your thoughts and impressions? Well, so obviously without doing a physical exam and, and seeing you in person, I can't, I only have a list of differentials as opposed to a finite diagnosis. And so, you know, it's, it's unclear if the back pain is still coming from a disc. The chances of that, I think, are low based on the fact that you've had two microdiscectomies, but still possible to have discogenic pain afterwards. But again, usually that's more midline pain as opposed to, you know, slightly off to the side, whereas yours is off to the left. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we, we'd have to run through the gamut of uh, orthopedic tests to know if it's your facet joint, if it's your sacroiliac joint, if this is the interspinous or the supraspinous ligaments, is it the ligament supporting the SI joint, is it the iliolumbar ligament, and then we also have our, our clunial nerves, our superior clunial and our middle clunial nerves. Those are probably the most common things that uh, we see in terms of what's causing pain when we have unilateral low back pain. And none of those things would have been addressed with your microdiscectomy and your laminectomy.